Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. Today, we'll be playing Retro Pixel Castles. Which, by the way, I have to say a few things about. I tested this just to see if, it can, if I can play this well enough, and it is downright hard. Second, they said they were going to be changing the name about it, to see if that helps um, it get noticed. So first, we're going to start, let's give it a name. Our profile name is going to be... Durak. Just for a sec. Just, just because. Tips enabled? Uh, nah. The tips. You might want to have the tips the first time you guys play it. But for yourself, I already played it, so I, I know how things go a bit. So, as I said, this game is really freaking hard. You have one free day and night where monsters don't attack you. Here's the cool thing. Whoops. Whoa. Really sensitive here. You actually get to choose which part of the landscape you want to start. You can start off in the desert, or is that just a deserty beach? The rocky area? There's actually only just one starting, sp starting spot in the stone area. A couple spots four, it looks like, in the forest. Looks like this is the either Twilight Forest or uh, Magical Forest. And down here in the Fall Forest, looks like there's like three, but one is just, oh wait, no, there's one on an island. Interesting. So, I feel like starting off in a place that feels unique, and of course they're all unique. I'm not trying to doubt that. Let's do a little bit of a, a split. Let's go here. Here's a. Uh, <clears throat> there are a few couple. Uh, there's a couple of god powers you can use at the top of the screen. I'll get to those in a moment. I'm gonna just minimize this so I have more screen space. And you want to be able to gather yourself some materials, such as food and wood, and stone. Eventually crystals, too. Oh, look. Space. Apparently it just cuts off right there. I was wondering, where's some food? Because we're going to need food, too. There's, a, there's, some, there's some food right there. And there's a farm. I think right here would be nice to start off. Okay. Maybe I'll have to, uh, not be right there. Oh boy, this this thing is really big. Then let's start off about, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really hard to find the right spot. There's a, there's a gap right there, I can, I can do this. Let's still, let's go here. Once you start, it teleports in, or it's raiding men, women, and resources. So what you need to do is use all the time you got to gather all the resources you can get. But make sure you build properly. I tried building certain things that I thought were interesting, that I might need. Bad idea. Because you only get, uh, once your first day and night have past enemies will be spawning and they will increasingly get numerous and tougher this game does not hold back on difficulty and you can't even change it I don't think so in the bottom left you can use yourself the, um, the harvest rock to tell all the, your people where to harvest stone and I want to keep that in mind of that once they're done harvesting <laughs> You're going to have to re reposition what they need to harvest. I'm sorry, it's just sounding more like educational, like telling you how to play the game. But, this, but if you guys are feeling like this is an interesting game to play, you guys are going to need to be informed. And press the middle key to cancel, by the way. I want to give you guys information as well as gameplay footage. And how might my, my take on it? 
not in range. Okay, so I'm gonna need to one get our get our people some places to live. All right, guys, let's get you some some homes. Right now, tents are of course not the best home, but it's it's something. And these people need something, and these these other ones need refined resources. And the and then in the left, you can see all these little boxes. All these boxes will be will be for jobs, such as farming, and and uh, specifying what you want them to do. Aid, I believe this is what I wanted to have right here. Out, okay. and celery. I'm not good with words. Forgive me for that. Let's um. Destroy terrain. Get rid of these flowers. These flowers are going to be in the way of my building thing. And let's cancel that. Don't forget to cancel, because I, accident I accidentally kept building when I didn't want to. Before. And you need to upgrade your camp if you want to... If you want to uh, have more structures on the field. And people will have um, <clears throat> uh, priorities so you can go ahead and tell people I want to I want you to build this right now the small ancillary however you say it is at the bottom of the priority list and of course homes are should be the high priorities of course with this you can organize things does take time, but also, uh, but up here, let me while they're working, let me get you a little tutorial up here. Here you can use your mana, which is this big blue bar up here, and you gather that just by little wisps of magic that float around on the on the screen. And don't worry too much about missing it, because uh, they they home in. See this little wisp right there? They home in on your finger tip and then you get magic. This you can grab things and move them. And it even tells you on the blue bar how much, turning in orange, how much it costs. You can send things to limbo, resources or people, so people are in danger. Save them. Send them to limbo. They'll be safe there. And you can also take them from limbo. It's very helpful to one, save your people that are wandering off, and two, bring, uh, move them somewhere in another town if you have uh, multiples. As for all the stone on the ground, my people don't really need it right now. So that's why they're not grabbing it. One thing's for sure, you're going to need to eventually work on defense. But make sure you focus on what people need first. Which you can use on this problem panel right up here. Again, I'm sorry for being totally informational. But until something actually happens, I pretty much, I'm pretty much an informational person, but I definitely want to show you my, well, all of me, my my personality and my take on the game. It does seem like it has a good qualities to it. It just gets really tough. There is no harvested food, is what my problem is. The thing is, that means I need a farm. So, what's better to have a farm, a small farm or a big farm? Why not get a big farm? So I'm gonna be placed down a big farm. Once this thing, this once this baby is, uh, once this structure is built, we'll go over here and harvest these radishes. I think they're called turnips. There you go. Top right is where the is the day cycle. All right, time to take our people and put them into organizing. The organizers, if I'm correct, will go around and um, gather things if necessary and bring them to the proper places, which is wonderful. If you have any other structures, such as, let's see, harvesting, the crystal harvestry, lumber shack, or the mining facility. It sets people to do a specific job, so you know you're going to have that thing happen. 
As far as I know, because my people are already um, punching down trees. They're a bunch of steves. <laughs> and for for stone, I'm gonna need. I'm definitely gonna need a mining facility. So hey, if it's right there, why not then? It's perfect. Perfectly. Uh, it perfectly fits. So as for the other ones, fire blast, blast uh, fireballs from the sky. Motivate. You make your the crops necessary to grow faster, including trees. Flame. Just set an area on fire. Dissolve. Dissolve crystals and dead bodies on the map, converting them into essence, which is this blue bar. Healing. Magic torch. Distract. This is supposed to distract your people and make it go to this spot. I did not see it work very well. Recall. Teleport villagers and resources back to safety of the village. Definitely going to be useful. And banish. Send all the enemies in the area into a far off area. Spotlight and resurrect. I really hope that really I hope really hope that works. All right, let's get let's get some people in the farm. All right, builders. Let's. Ah, uh, we have more peoples now. Yes, there's more people. All right, goody goody. <coughs> Small shack. This needs boards. We don't have boards. And for that, you need to go to the down here, the uh, manufacturing or refining. Sorry, the, rem the, ref the refining spot. How you guys doing, by the way? I I haven't really been I've been setting you guys chores, but. How you guys doing? I mean, these guys are like little hulks, or maybe they're maybe these guys really are ants. Ants can pick up ten times. Was that right? Ten times their own weight. Now, that's something. These guys are punching down trees like Steve's, and picking up logs like their ants. Ants strength-wise, anyways. <clears throat> Pardon that. I'm going to need to build some walls, but I need my myself some resources. This wall just needs a bunch of stone. A strong wall that you can shoot over. A basic wall to reroute incoming enemies. It can also be shot over. Yeah, right. It says so, but I had my towers up. They did not shoot over it. Maybe I just had the wrong tower. I had a slingshot tower. Let's get some more organizers in here. Organizers are better. Understand. Okay. All right, mining facility. We need we need more wood. So that's what I'm talking about. We need. Oh, are these guys punching stone now? Wow. You really are some really tough workers, guys. Punching stone. I guess mainly having a facility. What does a facility actually do? Let's, let's go check that. Um, a stable building to harvest and store rocks. Okay, so it's a place to store rocks. Let's get a few dedicated workers here. So... Now that you have a farm up, let's get let's get these uh, highlighted turnips harvested. We're gonna need all the food just to help our peoples. There's no harvested food. Eight villagers are homeless. Oh, looks like we need to make another tent then. A villager is confused. Five villagers are unhappy, and four have no food. All right, that'll be worked on. No, don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll get that for you. Let's get another home in there. Alright guys, focus on the trees. That has arrived. Everything is peaceful. And that is very, very nice. Because 
having having no um, having it having monsters is very annoying and harsh. Even the lightest slimes give you a bit of a hecticness, but after a while, you can get a character strong enough. But then the nice continue, then zombies and skeletons, and eventually flame elementals come into play. And those guys are fast and strong, really harsh. And not to mention we have some, some lightning striking that can literally just zap fry your people. I really hope my revive actually helps revive them. It costs you pretty much half of your bar. Resurrect visible ghosts on the map. Beware, sometimes the process doesn't quite turn out the way you planned. Does that mean it's going to turn into zombies? What's the point of using that much if it's going to turn out to be a backfire and turn my people into zombies? That's not helpful at all. Alright, the tent's almost built. And now... What we need to do is build ourselves some defenses. We have some crystals here, and that's that's fantastic. Because some things, such as golem builders, which I really want for for our defenses, is needing requiring of crystals. So let's let's uh, get ourselves a crystal workshop. But we need we, whoops whoops. Okay, hold on on that. We're gonna need a refinery. We're gonna need to, uh, t stone, uh, crystal, no, uh, stone cut, stone cuttery? It, yeah, alright. Cuttery of stone. Let's, um, well, that's inconvenient. All these little spots that look like it will fit, it just doesn't. Dang it, there we go, nice little snug spot right there. Beautiful. Alright, priority top. Let's get that stone cuttery up. It's once the next day starts, actually, that's when the slimes are coming. Let's get these crystals broken. And I think I remember reading that the crystals regrow. That's, that's actually good to have renewable resource. Stone, on the other hand, of course, does not regrow. Insufficient stones. Yeah. Sorry about that. We're going to need to get the stone cuttery up first. Which is where we have our organizers. Those working, uh, those hardworking worker bees, peoples, are going to be doing all the handiwork of gathering what we need. I actually didn't use this ancillary. I'll just call it that because I don't know what it's called. It is actually really helpful because it gets people to. Well, organize. The, where's the farm? Where's the farm we placed? There's the farm. Beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use our magic ability to make the crops grow faster. I'm sure they harvested the foods already and planted in the fields. Go ahead, crops. Let's see you grow up. Ah, I see little pink dots. They're growing. It'll take them a long time, but that's why I have magic. Magic is... Well, magical. I just saw you drop a turn up in there. Good job. Good job, buddy. <coughs> Let's see, what else? I think I got... I'm motivated one more time. Motivating? Yes. Let's get some more of the... Whoops, no whoops. I... I did, oh, good. I didn't cast it twice. Maybe I didn't cast it. Maybe I didn't cast it. Maybe that's why. Maybe I wanted to, but I pressed the wrong button. Sing to the flowers. Well, turnips, I should say. <laughs> Let's turn up the beat. Oh my. Alright then. Let's, let's get a few of these guys in the cuttery and then we'll... Uh, we'll see what we can do after uh, in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. 
And if you guys enjoyed, let me know. And until I see you guys again, have a great day, everyone.